Well, good Tuesday morning and welcome to Noah's Window. We're going through the book of Acts right now. And Mary Alice, the last time we were looking at the book of Acts, Paul and Barnabas and John Mark were setting out on a missionary journey, the very mm -hmm. first. Uh, they were leaving the church at Antioch and they were on the move, going from place to place, sharing the gospel, starting at the synagogue first. And of course, the message was spread out from there. So where are we today? So today we're going to start out around, um, well, verse 13. And we're going to really kind of talk through a really long passage and we're not going to take the time to read all of it. So I hope you'll go get your Bible and read through all of Acts 13. Uh, but we're going to talk about it just a little bit. Now, as Mark said, Paul and Barnabas and John Mark are traveling. And you might remember that uh, earlier they were in Antioch of Syria. Now they're going to Antioch of Pisidia, which is a different city. And, and like Mark said, they're going to go to the synagogues. So when they got there, um, it, we're going to jump in. Oh, let's jump in around um, verse 14. But Paul and Barnabas traveled inland to Antioch of Pisidia. On the Sabbath, they went to the synagogue for the services. After the usual readings from the book of Moses and the prophets, those in charge of the service sent them this message. Brothers, and they're talking to Paul and Barnabas, if you have any word of encouragement for the people, come and give it. And I love that all by itself. I have, I've loved it as a pastor. It's one of those verses that I try to hear before I go out to speak. You know, people today are starving for encouragement and not mm -hmm. just at a boy or, you know, you're going to make it or some of those yeah. uh, cliches that we speak. I think people need to know that there is a message from God where there is help yes. and reassurance. And it sounds to me like they were encouragement starved. Yes. Because here were these strange men who came in and they said, brothers, if you have any word of encouragement for the people, yes, you know, please give it. And again, they're in the synagogue, so they're mostly talking to Jews. But mm -hmm. uh, notice when Paul starts speaking, he said, uh, men of Israel and you God-fearing Gentiles. That's right. So he's speaking to a mixed group here. And again, this is a long passage, but I would encourage you to get your Bible out and read all the way um, through verse 43. As you have time, we'll pick up there at the end in just a minute. But I want to point something out here because what Paul goes on to do is he does something interesting because we're talking about give him a word of encouragement. Like you said, he could have said everything's good. And, you know, there are all kinds of things he could have given. But he starts recalling for them the story of that God has rolled out with Abraham's family that became uh, uh, the nation of Israel and all the things that God did for them and the purpose of all that. And, and that's so important, really. He's kind of summarizing what the Old Testament was pointing to all along. Mm -hmm. Is This is what this is all about. It's not just about a man named Abraham. It's not just about a man named Jacob. It's not just about all these judges in the book of Judges or Joshua or Moses. The Bible, the Old Testament in particular, it's about pointing to an event and a person that's coming, and that's Jesus and what he did. And, and Paul does a brilliant job of going over all that right here. Now, one more thing, and, and we'll probably be short today, but I wanna, I wanna jump down to um, verse 43. Well, let's back up to 42, because as he concludes his message um, in verse 40, 42, it says, as Paul and Barnabas left the synagogue that day, the people begged them to speak about these things again the next week. Now, remember what Paul just went over with them, was history leading up to, the, to Jesus and what he did. Verse 43 says, Many Jews and devout converts to Judaism followed Paul and Barnabas, and the two men, Paul and Barnabas, urged them to continue to rely on the grace of God. What a, a word of encouragement for us today, rely on the grace of God. Yeah, I, I think it's wonderful that the message of God's word was so well received that people wanted in week two of the series. Yes, I love that. <laughs> but in the meantime, they, they charged them to keep depending upon the grace the of God. The grace of God, yes. Yeah, that's and, right. and sometimes we miss that message, I think, in the Old Testament, and that really is, it's just so important to me that that's what the Old Testament is pointing to. Now, we're working on something, we'll give a little sneak peek here, I guess, but we're working on something. We may take a little side trail off of the book of Acts for just a few days to go over some things with you that I think, I, I hope you'll find fascinating, I find it fascinating, and I think it will help build your faith and understanding just like what Paul was given uh, to this, the people in this synagogue, the Jews and Gentiles alike. So um, we're gonna, I haven't decided what we're gonna call it yet. Well. But <laughs> I think it's gonna be really good. We're gonna go over some history that is completely overlooked. And, uh, and what's beautiful about these, this history that we're gonna talk about is to see God at work 
in these particular situations and with these particular people and to see what God was miraculously doing and and how that fits into what we're living in this day and age. It's as fresh as tomorrow's news. Yes. So getting excited about that, um, but need another day or so to uh, kind of polish it a little bit, but we're anxious to share that with you. So we'll look forward to that tomorrow. But today, let's just leave as we uh, take this same admonition that Paul and Barnabas gave to the people there. Let's, let's remember today to rely on the grace of God, and that's going to bring victory in our life today. I love this so much. Mary Ellis, would you pray for us? Please? Yes, let's pray. Oh, Father, thank you so much for reminding us over and again of how Jesus fulfilled all the uh, prophecies of the Old Testament and what he did for us when he came, willingly came and laid down his life so that we could be forgiven and have eternal life. And even today, Father, help us to remember to rely on the grace of God as you provided for us in all these things. We need your grace for eternity, but we also need to live our lives relying on your grace as we go through our daily activities. I pray especially for our Noah's Window family, for each individual, each family, for their children, for their grandchildren, for all the things that they're going to be walking through today. Please uh, draw them close into your presence, wrap them in your love, and give them all the provisions that they need that only you can provide. And we'll be careful to give you the glory and the honor and the praise. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mary Alice. Thank you for joining us on Noah's Window. God willing, we'll be back tomorrow. Yes, we'll see you guys tomorrow. God bless. Thank you.